It's a small town. You wouldn't have never thought that something this big would have been going on. He requested $1,000. They were told to come to the back door, and they handed the baby out and said, good luck. We know now that he was telling women that their baby died, and then he would sell them. They put her in my arms, and I said, isn't she awful tiny? Those women deserved the truth. It almost sounds unreal, but it is real. The new TLC docuseries, Taken at Birth, uncovers the shocking case of the Hicks Babies, a black market baby selling operation out of a small clinic in Georgia. Jane Blasio and Lisa Joyner worked tirelessly to reveal the truths about this story and reunite long lost families. Welcome, ladies. Now, Jane, you've been investigating Dr. Hicks since you were 19 years old. 18. 18. And, and you, you started this journey after you found an error on your birth certificate? Well, I knew I was adopted from an early age, mm -hmm. and then at 18, I wanted to find my birth family. Right. So I started looking. I knew it was, as my adoptive father said, not above board. Mm -hmm. So I knew there could be some challenges, but I didn't expect what I found. That they bought you, literally, right? Yes. Wow. Yeah. And so they what was cash. Their, what was paid cash? They paid cash, yes. So what was their response once you came back with that information? Well, they knew that I would, I mean, they had talked about it openly. Well, my father had talked about it openly with me. So he had told me the story before really? I went down, yeah. What, what so, may I ask, what is a baby going for? What did they, what do you, how do you put a price on that? <laughs> it, actually, did he yeah, tell you? What a perfect story, right? Yes, he paid a thousand for me. And then my sister Michelle was bought from the same place four years earlier. Wow. wow. And they paid 600 for her. And the, tell them the circumstances surrounding when you were uh, adopted by your adoptive parents. You were tiny. You were this yeah. little baby. And it, she was literally handed out the back door. Yeah. So, 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 what, yeah, so it was, it was pretty bad. So. How do these transactions work? Because it's not like you could put it on Facebook. On these, but how, do they, how do they happen? It was word of mouth, mostly. Mm -hmm. um, really? There was a woman that had grown up in McKaysville, Georgia, yeah. and she moved to the Akron, Ohio area, and she got married, and so she knew the doctor. So she couldn't have children. So she bought babies from him, and then she told her friends, and it just went from there. So there were close to 200, possibly more. We still don't know what the exact number is that right. went to Akron, Ohio Unbelievable. in the 40s, 50s, and 60s. And so based on that research, about how many babies do you think Dr. Hicks could have done this to? Mm. There's, there's, there's absolutely no number. We don't have concrete information right now other there, than to go about 200. There's no documentation. He, yeah. f he would forge birth certificates. Right. Some of these yeah. people didn't even know when they were born. Wow. Right. So, so Lisa, how did Dr. Hicks how was he able to get away with this for decades? It was a small town, and it's funny because people knew, but they sort of turned the other cheek, didn't they? Really? Right? Absolutely. So the police and authorities were aware and they didn't do anything? He was a big man mm. in town. He owned businesses, several ah. businesses. Yeah. He, you know, he was I mean, the doctor. Yeah, was I mean, there? at that time, doctors are like gods. Right. right. You know, so if they say something, but that's, that's the absolute truth. Was there a connection or a thought that maybe his own children or children that were biological, biologically his might have also been victims of this? Uh, yes, there was. And then from the very beginning, I mean, that was always something. When I, when I talked to some of the townsfolks and my sources, basically, they had said that they thought it was a good possibility mm -hmm. that he had fathered some of them. And so you've been able to reunite now some of these families uh, who were separated this way. What has that experience been like? You can't, you can't put words to it. It's amazing. So it's it's, it's incredible, but it's also, I mean, the people who went on these journeys are incredibly brave because they don't know what they're going to find at the end of this. Yeah. And a lot of them found out, sadly, um, we had one case where the birth mother was told that the children were stillborn. Oh, wow. And they were sold. Yeah. Unbelievable. And they buried the children. They yeah. put, they had tombstones up. So these families mm -hmm. have mourned the death of these children their entire life. It, Only to meet them years later. It, and is it possible that some of these children were the biological children of Dr. Hicks himself? You're going to have to watch. Yeah, oh, that's, that's a tease. <laughs> that's a tease. You're going to have, gonna have to, to watch. watch. Yeah, well, we're, we're, you make me want to watch yeah. now. Unreal. Uh, well, lady, thank you for sharing that story. That's, that's, that's mind-blowing right there. Yeah. You can check out Taken at Birth Wednesday night on TLC. If you love that video, you're going to love everything on the Access YouTube channel. So hit the subscribe button. You can thank me later. Hit it.